Well, good morning, my friends. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. Well, today we're starting our vlog out in Cambria, California. I've never been here. I don't know what this is like, but as I drove through the downtown area, I saw a really cool town that I thought we should explore, so let's go. Days with Jordan the Lion begins here in Cambria. Uh-huh. 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 Oh, yeah. Count me in. Definitely has that old town feel to it that I love. Oh, it's definitely a colorful town. Very, very colorful. There's the Chamber of Commerce. Let's go get some coffee. Oh, that looks amazing. Oh, check out this place. This is all local art. We may have to go in and take a look. Oh, isn't that great? Yeah, definitely check this place out. This is great. You can tell right here there's Tudor and all kinds of old architecture in this town. I love it. I wasn't really looking to go antique shopping today, but this is about the most perfect looking antique store you could ever find, isn't it? I feel like you just walked into heaven here. Look up there on the roof. They even have a cat. <laughs> like a black cat walking by. Oh, I love this place. Check out the uh, shirt they have right in the window. If you're from Ohio, you get this. It's called Pop, not Soda. It's such a Midwestern joke. You know what? They are super friendly here. Every single store that I've walked into and looked around and filmed anything, when I walked out, they were all like, thank you for stopping in, have a great day. Every single one of them. Not one or two, every single one of them. <sighs> Do I even have to say anything about this? I kind of feel like I should pop in and have some food here pretty soon. I saw this and it, it's called the Old Stone Station. Maybe I will. And I always appreciate those signs. I'm loving this town. Pines by the sea. Just trying to look around town before I decide on where I want to eat. Lots of choices for as small as it is. Yeah, we could try out the Main Street Grill. That's an option. I'm just curious if they'll mention Nitwit Ridge on here. Just curious. There were plenty of signs throughout town as you're driving in that kind of direct you to it, so. Sandy's Deli is an option. Hmm. The Pet Pantry. Oh, check this out. The Love Story Project. Record your love story, photo booth, local art. Lots of love around here. Oh, you gotta love this. All love. You gotta feel good when you're in here, right? Such great stuff, too. That is awesome. And she's even got the Beatles playing. There we go. And that's where you record your love story in there. I dig the robots and the bowling pin lamp. That is great. Look at that. Fragile. Let's go in the love story booth, right? Oh, this is very cool. Very cool. You record it into this. She said that the camera's actually out being used today, so I can't do it today, but uh, that's okay. I don't know if I have any love stories to uh, to talk about, but very cool room. She said this store's been here for about three years. Very cool store. Yeah, that is a very cool store. You guys should definitely come check that one out. What a great little town. You know, this has been really awesome because I've been walking around this town for probably 45 minutes and as I've been doing it, um, I've crossed paths with a couple people and they're just like going store to store talking to, you know, checking in with their friends who run those stores. It's kind of cool. It's very like small town feel. Yeah, I'll walk into a store and I'll go, oh, that guy was just in there talking to the people at the uh, art store and they'll be in at the bookstore right now. It's like kind of cool environment. Oh wow, look at that doorway. That is wicked. This place is called Granny Had One. Well, my granny didn't have a Grateful Dead poster. <laughs> Looks like it's an antique market of some kind. I can't go in because I have coffee. 
Yeah, I wish my granny had some old Grateful Dead posters. I wish. Sheffield Square, the pit stop. Let's see what's in here. Oh, <laughs> liquor store. That's a great sign. Paws on Main. I almost feel like I should be eating here just because of what's out front. Not the Harmony Cafe sign, but seeing this and the sign on it that says, a thing of beauty is joy forever. I've almost made it through my tour of the city, so we'll decide on something to eat after this. Oh, very cool antique store. The bus benches are actually made from like real parts of the tree. Well, I gotta assume that's from 1881, right? Wouldn't you assume that? That's pretty cool. Santa Rosa Schoolhouse? Lawn Bowling Club? Ah, yes, Lawn Bowling Club. Free lessons. Oh, interesting. Bing's Playground. Looks like it's a little uh, kids fair, some sort. But it looks like it's here all the time. It doesn't look like a, uh, a mobile thing or anything. 1888 jail. Holy cow, what is that thing? The Wonka Vader? I can't quite make out what that is. Looks like the Wonka Vader to me. Oh, it's a lighthouse lens. Okay. All right, well, I think we successfully made it through the entire town, so now we're gonna decide on somewhere to eat and then head off to San Luis Obispo. All right, I think I decided on the old stone station here. That is one crazy Chinese chicken salad. All right, that was excellent. Now let's get out of here. Stopped in here to get some postcards and they have a Nitwit Ridge one. And I'm gonna get some local ice cream. All right, now we're heading out to San Luis Obispo to see something disgusting. <laughs> Well, as we were driving along the coast, I looked off to the side and I said to myself, what are you doing, dude? You don't have to be anywhere. Stop off and enjoy this. So I did. crucial part of what we need to do today involves coming in here. We need to grab something. Yep, something very important. More important than the Simpsons arcade game. Oh, very cool. Wow, this is one of the better Rocket Fizz. They're all good, but this one's great. Oh, check out the Pez dispensers. Oh, killer mural Ninja Turtles and a Cab Calloway poster, heck yeah. Oh, look at the E.T. Okay, so this is what we need. We need some bubble gum. And me, I'm old school. We're going Big League Chew. Um, not watermelon. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Eh, I don't see the grapes, so we'll go with the original. I remember a couple of years ago, they put Matt Kemp on the cover of Big League Chew for the first time. Oh, by the way, one of my all-time favorite things right there. Oh, this is old school. I love rock candy. Look at that. That's like a rock candy chandelier. Ginotri, that's great. Ginotri root beer. Oh wow, Three Stooges root beer? Mm -hmm. Oh, that is rad. This is great, look at this. There's a Kiss uh, Destroyer one, and then Gene Simmons has his own. Uh, money backs. And then, uh, where's it at, where's it at? Ah, uh, Richie Valens, classic, man, that is awesome. Way to go Rocket Fizz. 
Oh, look at this great Farrah Fawcett one. So yeah, that's why I love coming in rocket fizz. And then, of course, my favorite is my buddy Roddy Piper. See, right there's the Roddy Piper all out of bubble gum one from They Live. And Marilyn Monroe Lemonade, how about that? All right, I think we're gonna get one of these and some blow pops, or one blow pop. Oh, it looks like Lisa's the passenger here. Moon Pie, Big League Chew, and the Rock Candy. All right, now let's do this. Well, here we are. The first and oldest bubblegum alley in the country. Decades and decades of disgusting, dirty bubblegum that I'm about to add mine to. I'm not gonna do anything quite as fancy as spelling out my uh, sorority or uh, putting my name or anything like that. I guess I could have written my channel on here, but uh, let's keep it simple, stupid. Well, that blob right there is mine. I used a big enough piece to where I wouldn't have to touch anybody else's but my own. So that's mine. Literally, it looks like the blob. It looks like a whoopee cushion. There's a lot of it here, that's for sure. <laughs> wow. Oh, if you notice up here, a lot of people put pennies in theirs. Wow, good job, Sandra. Wow, let's go take a look at the Mission Mall. That's awesome. Nice. Oh, cool. It's like a collection of art stores and shops. I don't know what this guy is. Let's take this little path down here. Nice little walkway along the creek here they've made for everyone to enjoy. I love it. I think we can hop across these rocks over here. Looks like there's a bridge across, but I can't get over to it. Yeah, we'll just cross over these. Since I've never been in this town before, everything's cool to me. Oh, here's the bridge. Whoa, Harry and the Hendersons donated this. Check out this little theater down here in the park. I love this kind of stuff. Wow, well I don't have time to go in the History Center because I'm kind of on a time crunch now, but definitely looks like it would be worth checking out just based off the looks of this guy. Oh, and I guess it used to be the Free Library. Right across the street from it is the San Luis Obispo Museum of Art. All right, let's get out of here because I, uh, I have to get somewhere now. Well, my friends, we have made it. And if you want to see the Madonna Inn, you're going to have to come back and see me tomorrow. I know, it's not the nicest thing to do, but it's going to be a full video. We're going to walk the entire grounds and I'm going to show you the crazy Crazy room that I got. I bought the cheapest room they had available on the best discount site Just for an experiment and what I got will remind you of laughing Have a great night everyone. And we'll see you all tomorrow from the Madonna Inn Goodbye